Hey, girls. Girls. Yeah. I'm going to the farm. Duke and I are leaving. Okay. See you later. You're showing off your dance moves? Oh, that's nice. Is that a river dance? Is that a Blackberry Ridge dance? Is that a Black... It's for your video. Oh. <laughs> so you're putting on a show? So here's the other part I was talking about. Whenever we uh, had the excavators out here, they fell a tree and one of the limbs hit our top rung of fencing here. And so I'm going to uh, attempt to splice that for my first splice ever. Don't know if it's a great idea. It's so cold I can't feel my fingers, but uh, we'll uh, give her a shot. So I'm gonna switch cameras, set up a tripod to where everybody can kind of see what I'm doing better and then uh, go from there. Okay guys, we have switched cameras. And uh, just before I set up the tripod and uh, get to showing you what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna kind of tr attempt to talk you through what I'm gonna do. I think the first thing I have to do is take my barbed wire fence stretcher and grab both ends of this bobbed wire, barbed wire, not bobbed wire, I don't know who Bob is, barbed wire, and uh, see how far I can stretch it. I'm sure I can stretch it back to where it's touching, but in order to do the method of fixing that I wanna do, uh, I need it to overlap by a pretty good amount. So I think I just need to see where I'm at there, and then I think I'm gonna have to go grab like a one foot piece off of the spool and uh, spice kind of grafting that into both new pieces. Um, and what I'm gonna attempt to do is the uh, method that Daniel Arms uses from Arms Family Homestead. Um, he kind of condemned, you know, your traditional loop and then loop inside of that. He said it can kind of get uh, brittle and pinch and 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 that's a just a spot for failure uh he said this is a much better method so that's the method i'm going to try and uh, the only difference is whenever he did it um he was like at an end of one piece of barbed wire and adding on to that so that he could continue to stretch his fence he wasn't coming into the middle of a piece and trying to make it work um, if you see what I'm saying there he was adding on and not uh, splicing in between two so um, we'll see how this goes may be an epic failure and I may just end up making two loop ends and tying them together like everybody else does but uh, we'll test it out and I guess give everybody a good laugh if it doesn't work so here we go all right, just to try to help make my case that I've never done this before. Uh, we just got this uh, in from, my dad ordered it online. It is literally just now out of the box. I am just now opening it. 
I have watched several videos on this thing working. So uh, that's what I am relying on here. So never fixed fence before. And uh, this is the first time I'm trying it. So bear with me and uh, keep your rude comments to a minimum. <laughs> it would be appreciated. All right. So uh, let me get this thing open out of the plastic and I'll uh, get after it. Okay. So, I think I remember basically how this thing works. I need to grab this end back. Am I still on camera? Yep, okay. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. I need to at least grab it far enough back where I can splice when I'm ready to do that. So, let's try it right there and seat that in good. Okay. Duke, how's this going to work, bub? Are you going to help or are you just going to run around? Huh? Who I'm going to poke the crap out of myself. I can already see that coming. You guys might get a good treat of me throwing something before this is all over with. Hopefully it's not the camera. Duke, come here. up okay I can already tell that's not gonna work out very well looks like a splice is in my future hang on a second I got something hanging on the barbed wire that's not helping what are you doing Duke Imagine that it's the limb that broke it, probably. Okay. It's a splice for sure. Okay. Well. That sucks. Duke! Okay, so this thing's slipping. And I feel like I've got it pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. And uh, right now, I mean, I could play, make that sing, and I'm still about a quarter of an inch short of touching. So I'm going to take the tension off of this and I'm going to feather in a splice and uh, go from there. So let me get that done and then we'll pull back into the other side and splice it all together and release it and hopefully 
make uh, everybody proud. So let me see how I can back off the tension. There we go. Okay, and then uh, release this side. I think that's the side I want to put the splice on first. And then I'll set that down. Okay, I'm going to go cut uh, a piece of wire for my splice and then I'll be back with you. Once again, just a little bit of proof that I have no idea what I'm doing. Fence pliers still in the package. So I'm going to go cut some wire and I'll be right back. Duke, quit eating sticks. All right. So I got my splice piece. Um, I've got my original barbed wire piece. Barbed. Why do I keep saying bobbed? Barbed wire piece. And uh, I'm going to attempt to do the first slot. <coughs> splice, not slice. And uh, I'm going to try to do this. Ex exp exp I'm going to try to do this fast. <laughs> so that I can uh, get out of here because it is freezing. Rain has started to fall. It is uh, not probably good for my camera, even though I need a new one, and that would give me a good excuse. But uh, either way, I'm going to uh, power through this and get this splice done so that I can get Duke loaded up and get out of here. So I'm taking off this barb, and I've got the first end of my splice just about done. Okay, set that there to watch it fall down. Yeah, whatever, let it fall. Okay, and now I need to do this end. So I will untwist this pretty good ways. And that's probably far enough back. Let me uh, get this off of here. These pliers are pretty, pretty nice. They uh, cut this bob wire really easy. You know what? Let me go back one more. Okay. So now I've got this end that now needs to be spliced into this end, and basically they get married like that and uh, then you just start wrapping one one di direction and the other the other direction so I'm gonna put the pliers in my back pocket and uh, get to going on that Duke you ready to get out of here I can hear you whining or are you whining about that other dog barking at us there's a beagle the neighbor has that uh, I think here's the commotion back here and wants to come play. Well, I hope I'm doing this right. I guess we'll find out. I probably should have watched his video again as a little refresher. But hey. <sighs> okay, there's that one. Then he said go the other direction with the other side. Kind of feeling sloppy though, but okay. Duke! Okay, so that's a mess, but there's the first link, and now we gotta do this one this way. Try to bring that back here to tighten that back up a little bit and just start going again there she comes Duke some of this might be in camera some of it not okay this one this way I know it I'm ready to go too I hear you brother You're speaking to the choir. It's about supper time for you, isn't it? Okay. 
So there's my splice in all its glory. Um, I'm going to trim the ends probably at the end. And uh, now I'm going to peel this side back just a little bit at first. Um, just really so we can see where we're at. I'm probably going to go ahead and hook back up my uh, my uh, fit, my fit my stretcher and uh, we'll see how this is all going to come together. I'm not real sure. So let me get this all hooked back up to the stretcher and then I'll come back to you. Okay. So um, here we go. Got the fence stretcher hooked up. I have to close the gap here now. And then I think I'm going to uh, um, then undo the wire because I don't know how much to undo yet. So here we go. So right now I've got it not very far past each other. I may not have cut a big enough slice splice piece, which is just awesome. It would be big enough if I had those tabs that you just slide both sides into, but I don't. Okay. I was afraid of that okay so clearly I don't have a big enough splice piece on here so um, I think I need to go cut a longer piece and uh, come back to you I can always thread back into the original um, a little bit deeper so here we go Take all right second splice piece which is about twice as long as the first one um, I'm just pulling off these barbs barbs and uh, can't get that right and I don't know why uh, and then I will uh, lace this one in and hook it back up to the fence stretcher only thing I'm nervous about now is before I was able to grab the fence stretcher and grab original wire to original wire and now one end of the fence stretcher is going to be grabbed onto this splice so I don't know how uh, that'll work if that's the best situation or not but I don't think I have an option to do it this way if I want to continue to try to do it this way so that's what we're going to do and uh, I will get this laced in and then get the fence stretcher back on and then check back in all right so I've got uh, I've got it laced in you can uh, see that that splice right there and I've already got this in done done and I'm getting ready to put it into my fence stretcher and originally I had said I was going to go ahead and get it in the fence stretcher and then untether it just to kind of see where our where we are at and I think that's a mistake so I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get start the unraveling on the other piece right now before I hook it all up to the fence stretcher and then we will uh, go from there sorry my head's chopped off but you don't want to look at my ugly mug anyway so I'm gonna unravel that piece you've already seen my, me do that once you don't need to see me do it again and then we'll get back with you Duke don't go over there because you'll have trouble getting back and then I'll have to drop everything I'm doing again. Stay right here by me. Okay, so I got the stretcher on. We got one end on the splice, the other end on some original wire. And my splices um, are right here and here. We're a little bit stretched further than... Um, I guess where the splices are taken back to but that's an easy fix it's just to open it up more um, and go from there so 
Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to start lacing them in now. Um, I really don't know if this is tight enough. I think I'm going to try to go one more on the tightness. Um, and we'll see how that ends up. Maybe two. I don't know, maybe three. Okay. Um, that feels pretty good. I just am not maybe one more. Hopefully I don't take my hand off. Okay, that's tight. Okay, so now I've considerably walked past where I wanted to be. And so uh, I'm gonna unravel some more. Um, that maybe was one too many. Uh, I gotta take these barbs off, sorry. I hate working with gloves on. I can't feel anything. I can't feel the end of my fingers, but sometimes it's a necessary evil. I think even whenever you're working with this stuff, seeing as how I've been stabbed about nine times. But why I'm not wearing both pairs of gloves is because I have a dog who managed to run off. Yeah, I'm talking to you with uh, my other pair. So, so now I'm going to put these two ends together the best I can. And... Okay. Okay, now as you can see, I have a bunch of extra length here, but I think what I want to do is just get a couple of wraps started. Before I clip anything. that way and then a wrap or two on this side of the splice I don't guys like I said I don't know if this is the right way to be doing this or not I kind of feel like I'm uh, fumbling a little bit here but we'll see how it ends up Like I said, I know I saw him do it this way, but he was just putting two end pieces together, not not splicing in the middle. So, um, whether or not that was the appropriate application for this or not, I don't know, but we will see. Sorry, that was my foot hitting that. So, I've got it wired back in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and snip that some so that I can work with it it's getting kind of tight in here so there we go and this one these things are pretty cool they just cut through this barbed wire like butter I guess any snips really would but it's not like it's heavy 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 duty stuff but anyways we'll I'm almost there I know you're probably tired of watching this but I'm almost there and then I'll show you as I take tension off what happens because that could be an epic fail for everybody to laugh at come on
Okay. Well, there's that one. And I think I might have screwed up on my threading on this side. Looks like I have both of them running together. So I think I'm gonna have to fix that before I let this tension off. Uh, I could probably let it off and it wouldn't be a problem. I just wanna do it the right way so that I don't get yelled at. Publicly shamed on YouTube for not even being able to follow simple instructions on how to weave a wire. So I'm back to the splice. See here, I need to go this way, I guess. Okay, that looks better. Okay, well, I think <clears throat> we've reached the moment of truth basically I've got a what ended up with is I've got a splice here and a splice here with a new piece in the middle and uh, I guess without further ado here we go walk it back walk it back I think all the tension's off. See if we can get this thing out of the out of the rung. Ah, there we go. That one's out. And that one's out. All right. Hey, hey. She's done. She held. She's still pretty tight, and uh, looks like we've got our original clip here, and uh, never put one of these on, but I'm sure it's not rocket science, considering I saw the guys who installed the fence. That, oh, that was mean. I'm kidding. Those actually were pretty good guys, in case they ever see this, Ow. and laugh at it. Okay, up and over, and I'm almost positive that is not very pretty, but it'll do for now. Voila! Mended fence at Blackberry Ridge, courtesy of instruction by Daniel Arms of Arms Family Homestead. I will uh, link his video about this in the description. I don't know how to put links on the uh, on the uh, tab yet so um, whenever I figure on the on the screen like buttons that you click but whenever I figure that out I will add that as well. So um, yeah so I'm pretty sure that needs some work but uh, it's freezing cold, it's raining, and uh, <clears throat> that's enough for today. So until next time, we will uh, see you up on the ridge. <laughs> Hey Bubba, you know I was over there fixing fence.
and you know I needed help and uh, you know I'm missing a glove you also know that you're filthy and uh, look what you've done to my seat you've made it filthy and I'm pretty positive that you are laying on my iPhone gimbal camera thing that's a hundred and twenty dollar little piece of electronics and uh, you probably just made yourself at home right on top of it didn't you let me see you little turd oh yeah there it is just nice and filthy thank you so much Duke that was very 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 kind of you hey tell everybody bye you can go back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you, bub.